This is Craner. If you remember watching Sunday a few years back, you have to remember Craner. But things have changed. Those massively successful videos and fond memories are now, well, memories. Today, we look at one of the most iconic YouTubers and where he went. What happened to Craner? <laughs> It's 2012 and a small streamer named Craner or Benjamin Vastigard? Vestigard? Hold on, how do you pronounce that? Vestigo. <clears throat> anyway, Benjamin Vestigo is on Twitch. This is before all the subathons, streaming copyrighted shows, and um, the odd content. <laughs> No, th this was a small site at the time, and a streamer by the name of Lancey is at the top of the top. Remember that name, it'll be important later. Our friend Craner asks to collab with said Lancey. They hit it off. They became great friends and they started to collab, and Lancey would assist Craner in promoting his channel when he eventually moved to YouTube. It was also around this time that good old Lancey wanted to make a gamer house, and so Lancey pulled the trigger. He brought over Craner from Denmark to the United States, and needless to say, he balled out. Anything Craner wanted, from first class tickets to limos, and even inviting Craner's old girlfriend at the time to splurge in expensive stores. Things seem all good right now, but in a few months, this would be the beginning of an end to this relationship. And to do that, we have to establish a new character to the mix. It was another YouTuber that Lancey collabed with. What was his name again? Hey, what's going on guys? Sunday here and welcome to some Battle Dope. I want to thank every single one of you. Oh yeah, Sunday. They were also pretty successful making videos together. However, bear in mind that it's always difficult to involve friends in business, as for some unknown reason they had a fallout. Hey, it, it happens. Lovers quarrel, I, I guess. But Craner saw an opportunity in the midst of this chaos. This was just a week prior to Craner leaving Denmark again, as his three-month visa was soon to expire. Craner proceeds to ask Lancey about Sunday, and if he thinks he can grow without him, and just his general thoughts about Sunday. And bear in mind that in a fallout, you're an angry person. It's expected that you say something that's harsher than usual. However, Craner had a motive as to why he was asking these questions. Craner recorded the entire 45-minute conversation and edited his voice out. I think you can see where this is going. Craner sent this video to Sunday, and this caused a massive rift between Lancey and Sunday, whilst perhaps strengthening Craner and Sunday's relationship. But at the time, Lancey didn't know this. When it was time for Craner to leave to Denmark, Lancey left him with a wad of cash in his hand and a tearful goodbye. Wait, hold on, this isn't the end, right? I bet they'll still make videos together. Lancey can just text Craner. No response. Well, how about another? No response. Well, maybe just a fi- What the fu- Oh, hey, Craner made a new video. I wonder what it is. Lancey got boofed, and in a matter of no time, Craner starts to find mass amounts of fame with Sunday. They started out making an incredibly successful Sky Factory series, followed by an incredibly successful Lucky Block series, a Crazy Craft series, and in just a matter of no time, he hit 100k subscribers in just a year. Needless to say, Craner was blowing up. At the time, he was posting viral hit after viral hit. In only two years, he had already amassed a million subscribers, which at the time was huge. He and Sunday were a one-two punch that were pulling consistent viewers. However, that didn't last forever. Around mid-2018, they just stopped uploading together. Again, top 10 saddest Minecraft moments. They said it was because of an apparent time zone difference, which seems fair enough, no beef at all, but what ensued afterwards was the beginning of an end. Craner left Sunday for Jelly to make some of the most compelling content known to mankind, Roblox videos. <laughs> However, after a while, the videos became very cookie cutter and stale. Which brings us to today, where he's still uploading regularly, but the content isn't nearly pulling as much views. But what the bigger issue at hand is, was the method of getting to the top. 
So what the moral of the story is, children, don't involve friends in business and subscribe to my YouTube channel for free bow bucks.